PC Whiskey here with something from the makers of Silverstone cases, the style that I've reviewed in the past. Look at this. They've got a dual bay, three and a half inch RAID enclosure. So it's a hard drive enclosure for two drives with USB 3.1 type C. Okay, the connector at the back, which is great. So that's your Gen 2 up to 10 GB per second on that. Configurable RAID functions, of course, from RAID 0, RAID 1, JBOD, and non RAID, of course. Compact, screwless design. Well, you know, you don't need any tools. Easy hard drive installation. I'm going to show you that. You can pause the screen here at any time if you're curious about the specs on this. Uh, it's got a nice finish. I do like the fact that they uh, made this USB uh, 3.1 Gen 2. So you know you're going to get uh, decent speeds. Of course, it varies. Depends on the drive that you're using. Okay, so keep that in mind. It will work in your favorite flavor operating system, of course, as you can see there. And, um, well... What can I say? I mean, I do like the aluminum body, that uh, style that um, Silverstone has done in the past. When I've reviewed their, their uh, aluminum and steel cases, they have this brushed metallic look. I really like that. Here are the dimensions, in case you're wondering, uh, and the weight, okay, of this uh, little enclosure. Again, it's an external hard drive enclosure, dual bay, so two hard drives. You don't have to have two. You can install one. I'm going to be using a uh, Seagate uh, drive, and I'm going to install it and test it out for you right here. So there it is. There's the box, obviously, the front and the back with the specs that I just mentioned a second ago. Inside, very nicely packaged. You can see here, um, you know, they've done a good job in making sure that it's not moving around. So you know you're going to get it nice and safe in one piece. The manual, obviously straightforward. You've got the USB type C connector. You've got a power uh, cable and uh, the enclosure itself. Now, i got to mention here something. You just get the power cable. Why? Because it's got a universal internal power supply design. So you don't have this brick, this external adapter. All you have is just the cable, which is great. Okay, less stuff hanging around at the back. Um, well, when you look at the drive itself from the bottom, it's just got the rubber feet so that there's no vibration. Straightforward. Uh, the door at the front swings open. It's uh, magnetic, okay, so it just makes good contact there. It doesn't feel cheap or flimsy. It's very nice. Smooth design, like I said. Minimalistic view of this. You know, it's like clean corners. Um, it's got two latches, as you can see here, with a spring action. So when you hold uh, the latch open, get your favorite uh, hard drive. Again, here's my Iron Wolf NAS 6 terabyte drive that I'm going to be installing. I got two of these. I'm going to show you here how you install one of them. So you just uh, face it in the right direction, obviously, with the contacts on the inside. Slide it into place and then press firmly so that it makes contact at the back. And the latch will close nice and straight, as you can see. That's it. That's pretty much it uh, to install a drive. So toolless design, no need for screwdrivers. Um, to take it out, well, you just uh, open the door, swing the latch, out it comes. And there you go. Easy. Now... At the back of this hard drive enclosure, okay, you've got the RAID functions, okay? So you've got these two dip switches that you'll set your RAID 0 or no RAID if you don't want it uh, in, in that. Uh, and then click the set button below to set it up to which, whichever RAID uh, or setting you want. And that's pretty much it. You've got the USB uh, 3.1 Gen 2 and your uh, fan, as you can see right there, to keep things cool inside, which is very nice. And uh, to power it on, well, you can see again, there's a little power button there. You turn it on. You got the LEDs now blinking and making all this uh, jazz at the top here. You can see there's a power. There's a hard drive one and hard drive two. And they'll blink, of course, if there's activity in the hard drives. You'll see them uh, blinking on and off. So that's pretty straightforward. Benchmarks, well, the benchmarks are going to vary depending on the drive that you use, obviously. Uh, everybody's going to get different results. This drive is giving me roughly about two to 300 megs per second. Okay, again, this is through the USB cable, remember that. And um, I've done several tests with the Crystal Disk Mark, with Addo Disk Benchmark on the sequential read and writes. You can see them right here. Again, pause the screen at any time if you're curious, you want to see this slowly. But uh, the results are consistent, and uh, that's what I like to see here when we're doing these different types of um, hard drive suite tests with different types of tools, benchmarking tools. So definitely uh, good results here. And of course, results will vary depending on the file size, how much you're moving, the type of drive, 
and so forth okay so just keep that in mind but uh, I have no complaints there with this and uh, definitely recommend it obviously you know the uh, internal power supply design the styling uh, the fact that the AC input uh, is uh, automatically switching so if you have a 120 volt or 240 volt it'll work with both which is great um, toolless design obviously you don't need screwdrivers everything's good to go definitely recommend this I'll add the latest pricing below the video in the description if you're interested comment let me know what you think about it I like to thank Silverstone for providing it I hope you enjoy this video and thank you for watching